Piracy. It brings to mind Yo-Ho-Ho -Ho and bottles of rum and favorite rides at Disneyland. But in real life, piracy isn't as glamorous as it is in the movies. You won't get a parrot to perch on your shoulder, but you may be slapped with a lawsuit or criminal charges. It's troubling that the same people who would never dream of stealing something from a store won't think twice about downloading music, movies, and software online. Understanding what is legal and what isn't when it comes to downloading media isn't easy. Wired Safety has a guide on downloading music for parents and one for teens. It answers most of the questions we all have and is available online without charge at our site. Most of the time, when our kids want to download media without paying for it, they use peer-to-peer -peer software and newer applications that allow for fast downloading and sharing of large movie files. There are many websites that provide their own versions of peer-to-peer -peer software and allows you to open up a portion of your computer to other computers using the same software. When you think you're searching a peer-to-peer -peer website, such as Kazaa, you're actually searching the computers of their users. Their software connects the two computers and allows you to search which files are being shared from those computers. Many families have questions about the legality of these websites and software with good reason. Some have stated on their front page that their software is 100% legal. This is technically correct, but has caused considerable confusion. While the software they distribute may be legal, using it to download copyrighted music, movies, and software isn't. Our kids don't realize that along with the free peer-to-peer -peer software and pirated media, they're often getting spyware, adware, and viruses as well. When you couple the poor quality spyware and virus risks with the low price of subscribing to music online, it no longer pays to download it. Convinced that the best way is to buy what you need? Good. But how can we afford to fill up our high-capacity MP3 players that sometimes hold 20,000 songs? Even at 99 cents per song, who could afford that? Luckily, now in addition to websites like iTunes and others where you can buy a song or album online and burn it onto a CD or your MP3 player or iPod, Yahoo and the new Napster allow you to subscribe to download all the music you want for a flat monthly or yearly fee at less than $100 per year. Using Yahoo's subscription service, your child and you can download a million songs and change them anytime you want. Most movie piracy occurs when someone brings a video camera into the theater and shoots a poor quality video with heads and tossed popcorn interrupting the action. Sometimes professionals shoot these, and sometimes our kids do. Either way, it's very illegal and law enforcement agencies take these crimes very seriously. We need to teach our kids and remember ourselves that being good cyber citizens and ethical requires that we do what is right, even if no one is looking. Kids need to understand that their expensive digital recording devices will be confiscated if they're used to pirate movies or other media. We have to teach them that if you use it, you lose it. It may be a tough lesson but the right one.